Here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. We are below zero now. That is the ninth time in the past 10 years that Providence has gone below zero. Six of those nine times last February. That was the second coldest February ever. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. It's quiet across our area. We actually do have some uh, ocean effect snow showers out there on Cape Cod. They won't be bothering us. Our threat tracker for tonight, Sunday morning high, and that's because of these dangerous wind chills. Wind chills down to negative 30. Limit your time outside, and if you have to go outside, bundle up, cover any uh, skin. Don't leave any exposed skin, and uh, don't forget the pets. Very important. That's right till tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow afternoon, it's still going to be brutally cold, but we're not talking about such extreme wind chills. Here are the current temperatures. Look at Smithfield now down to negative four. Just got a, a report from Boroughville, negative four and a half degrees. So let's call it five degrees up there in Boroughville. Negative one in Providence at the big goose egg in Newport, New Bedford, Taunton, and Westerly. You factor in the wind and it feels like 20, 26 degrees below zero right now. Obviously not a good night to be spending a prolonged period of time outside. And I'm talking about 10 minutes or less. That's what you should be doing if you have to go outside tonight. Uh, in Narragansett, great visibility in Providence. We've got dry conditions, crystal clear skies. In Smithfield, more information on that. Negative 4. Feels like negative 24 with those winds from the west at 15. Satellite radar picture, it's quiet across the northeast. We're opening the floodgates basically from the North Pole. Cold air rushing into southern New England. It's going to be around really for just maybe a day and a half and that's about it and then we'll see the temperatures moderate wind chills overnight even tomorrow morning between 20 and 30 degrees below zero it may want to delay the uh, early church services if you don't want to have to face that cold by late morning it's still going to be pretty brutal outside but not quite as bad uh, wind chills uh, down to about 10 degrees below zero around uh, 11 12 o'clock tomorrow future cast for the overnight negative six the records negative seven we could be seeing that challenge during the uh, overnight hours again wind chills to negative 30 now tomorrow morning temperatures will be climbing all the way back to around zero or so around uh, nine o'clock in the morning lots of sunshine but we're still talking about extreme winds now in the afternoon look at these temperatures all the way up to 10. The uh, record low minimum temperature for tomorrow is 10 degrees. About 10 in Wickford, still feeling like well below zero. Eight in Situate, nine over in Johnston. West Warwick will top out around 10. Sunshine tomorrow in Fall River, Westport, Dartmouth, New Bedford, only about 10 degrees. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Now on Monday, cold start. Late in the day, we'll see some snow arriving. May see some small accumulations from that. On Tuesday, we are going to be seeing some very mild temperatures up around 54 degrees. But we'll see a mixture of precipitation early in the morning, turning over to all rain. Could be a little heavy rain. It should be out of here in the evening. And the rest of the week doesn't look quite as bad with temperatures in the 30s and 40s each afternoon. But for the next 24, 36 hours, brutal cold. Keep yourself safe and, of course, the pets. A little bit of a rebound ahead, too. Yes. yes all yes. right. TJ, thanks. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News at 11, Bravo.